in this case, it's mystifying. That's why they put an appeals process in place. National Charter School gets a new lease on life after the Metro School Board votes to shut it down. Rocket Ship Nashville Northeast Charter now has a 10-year certificate to operate after appealing to the state. Fox 17 News' Caitlin Miller live in North Nashville with more on what's behind this decision. Scott, the CEO of Professional Educators of Tennessee says that it's been an ongoing battle between MNPS and charter schools. But Bowman explains in this case, the charter school was outperforming the public schools in its area. Metro School Board denied Rocket Ship Nashville Northeast Elementary School's renewal application in November. But the charter school appealed this decision. The Tennessee Public Charter School Commission voted unanimously Friday to renew the agreement for rocket ship. Sharika Roby Grant, director of charter schools at MNPS, argues the school's data did not show significant growth or progress and had an alarming absentee rate. The executive director, director incorrectly contends the school has demonstrated strong teacher retention. This is contrary to the evidence in the record. But Will Hill with Rocket Ship says there's clear evidence their model is working. The school has received a TBOS rating of four or five every single year that it has been open. From an achievement standpoint, Rocket Ship Nashville Northeast Elementary has consistently been one of the highest performing schools in the Maplewood cluster. J.C. Bowman, CEO of Professional Educators of Tennessee, says this appeal is justified due to the data. The charter school actually outperformed the public school counterparts in the area. But he says there's a bigger issue here. I think it would behoove both sides to literally sit down and, and figure out, look, we're in business for one thing, and that's educating kids, and how can we do it best? And, uh, you know, at this point in time, it just is a bad look for Metro National Public School. When Bowman emphasizes the goal should be to look out for our young students. So now the commission decided that rocket ship will be open for another 10 years. Reporting live from North Nashville, I'm Caitlin Miller, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station. Tonight in crisis in the classroom, Rutherford County school leaders sounding the alarm over an as yet unwritten part of Tennessee's new third grade retention law. The State Board of Education is being asked to adopt a new rule that would renew the threat of being held back every year. It's a law designed to make sure all of our kids are reading at an appropriate level by the end of third grade. If they aren't, they're held back. I think that is something that we all hold extremely important. Uh, we just have some issues with the measure and the process. Dr. Kelly Chastain is the chief academic officer with Rutherford County Schools. She tells her board members nearly 300 of their fourth graders who were promoted only after going to summer reading camps or tutoring are now in danger of being held back again because of a complicated formula the State Board of Education is being asked to approve. The adequate growth formula that the state is saying we should use is based on the probability of a student being proficient on their 10th grade ELA EOC. That goal is divided by eight and then added to the percentage the third grader was below the 50% mark on the TCAP test needed for passage. Are you still with me? This is just, it's craziness. This is worse than the BEP formula. 